Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Salar Khan here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. So, today we discuss some examples on energy signals. We've, we've talked about the basic definition of energy and power signals back there in the playlist. The video is already present. I will also put the link in the description. Uh, but I did not uh, do some examples over there. So, we see it today. So, let's say I give the heading energy signals is fine okay so let's say we given a question to find the total energy of the following signal so we are we are asked to find the energy of the signal and the signal is given to be x of t which is equal to exponential of negative a t multiplied the unit step signal this is our signal which we have to do which we have to find the energy fine now uh, have a look we have a constant a over here so depending on the value of a we could have this value of exponent to be either positive or negative so if I write exponential of negative a t so I consider the first case is let's say if t is if the value of a is greater than 0 if a is supposed to be positive now if a is supposed to be positive we have another value of t so depending on these two we have positive and negative exponents so now if your a is positive and t is so i would write it with the colors so if t is negative if t is negative t is negative a is positive so which means negative with negative would imply that the power is positive power is positive so it would be an exponential increase fine similarly if the value of t is positive and also a is positive so both of them positive with a negative sign this would do the power to be negative and we have an exponential decay <clears throat> fine so let me draw this function for you guys so if this is your time axis this is exponential of negative a t so have a look to the right side if t is greater than 0 you have the power negative you have an exponential decay exponential decay and can I mention it like this is that fine this is an exponential decay where this intercept is value a fine and similarly for the negative value of t the power is positive so this would imply an exponential rise so an exponential rise could be like this fine now this value this intercept value is the value a but have a look our function is not this function exponential negative it is not the required function the required function is u of t multiplied with it so if u of t is multiplied with it u of t is only to the positive side what is u of t you know the unit step signal u of t so this is one for the values of t greater than or equal to zero and it's zero for t less than zero so which means if this is multiplied this only will we have a result to the positive side of the axis so which means this red color would cancel out and i would write this to be so this is now our question the question is this we have to find the total energy of this particular graph now you know how to find the energy so what do you do uh, u of t and the value of u of t you know this would be 1 so if this is 1 so which means the a value is 1 over this case 1u is multiplied to it fine now we know that the energy of a signal is given by integrating from negative infinity to positive infinity the modulus of x of t whole squared with respect of t now you can also say it in, a, in another term how do you say it? you say that the energy of a signal is equal to the area under the x under the modulus under the square of modulus of x of t graph just have a look to it 
how is the area calculated of a graph? You integrate it from negative infinity to infinity with respect to t. Fine. So here we are integrating with respect to t throughout the time axis the value of the square root of modulus of x of t. So this is equal to the e. So can I not say that the energy is equal to the square root of modulus of x of t, the area under this graph? I can say it, okay? So this is what you need to know. So I will uh, put the values over here. So if so the value would be like this. You have a negative infinity to positive infinity. X of t is what? It's exponential to the power negative a t multiplied u of t and, 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 and it's squared with respect to t. But have a look, the function is not having for negative value from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so you could say that it's negative infinity to zero, it's a zero. And then from a zero to positive infinity, you can say it's a negative infinite exponential of negative a t. And the value of u of t is what for this? For t greater than zero, it's one from zero to infinity. And you take a square, you give it a dt. So the energy would be what? The energy would be uh, negative a, uh, sorry, zero to infinity exponential of negative 2a t t t is that okay now we know that the integration of exponential of a t is equal to 1 upon a exponential of a t isn't it it is right so have a look here our a is negative 2a so which means that we have uh, the energy would be equal to 1 over negative 2a exponential of negative 2a and you put the limits which is infinity and 0 t sorry t is over here okay so what do you get this would equal a negative 1 over 2a you have an exponential of so you put the limits negative 2a into infinity and then a minus exponential of negative 2a into 0 so now we know uh, a constant multiplied by infinity would give us infinity and we know exponential of negative infinity is 0 exponential of negative infinity is 0 yes so we have exponential of negative infinity is 0 this is from basic mathematics and exponential of uh, 0 would be 1 because anything to the power 1 to the power 0 is 1 so exponential to the power 0 is 1 well I often uh, would say it by mistake exponential to the power 0 which is a huge mistake okay dealing with exponential functions you say what exponential of of one okay not to the power one so uh, this is zero this is one so you have what you have a negative one over two a zero minus one so this implies that the energy of this exponential signal is one over two a so that's about it okay that's the first case now, uh, if I go to the second case, this was the first case with a greater than 0. Now, if I go to the second case, if a is less than 0. So now, again, depending on this, we, have, we can have two cases. So exponential of negative a t could be any of these two. So have a look. Now for time less than 0, if the value of t is negative, in this case a is also negative. So negative negative would be positive and the negative we also have over here. So which means the power would be negative. Power would be negative and this would be an exponential decay. Similarly, if uh, 
you have the value of t is greater than 0. So have a look. t is greater than 0. A is less than 0. So positive negative would be negative. And negative we have already from before. So negative negative would be positive. And again we have the same exponential decay and exponential rise. So what would be the function? So the function would be like this. You come through it like this stepwise you don't face any difficulty. Exponential of negative a t. This is for case number 2 in a is negative. So when t is less than 0 you have the function like this. Fine. And similarly when t is greater than 0 so the function would increase like this. But our function is not exponential of negative a t, it's multiplied with u of t also, u of t. So which means the negative portion would cut out. And now we have to find out the energy of this signal. So well you can see from the figure that as the area is infinite, the area is infinite of this curve. So we can see that this is a diverging signal. It's going towards infinity as time is reaching infinity. So over here we could directly say the, uh, the energy would equal infinity. Why? Because this is a diverging signal is going to infinity. Amplitude is going to infinity as the time reaches infinity. So which means this is not an energy signal. Now in this I forgot to mention that the energy is finite. So if the energy is finite this means that this is an energy signal. So for the first case it's energy, for the next case it's not energy signal. Now we can have a third case as well. And what is the third case? that the value of a is equal to 0. So if the value of a is equal to 0, anything to the power 0 is 1. You could say x to the power 0 is 1. So this exponential to the power negative a t would become 1. And our function x of t would simply be equal to u of t, which is a unit step signal. So how do you draw the unit step signal? You know it's like this, this is t, this is 1. So now calculate the energy. How do you calculate it? By calculating the area of the squared graph. So 1 squared is again 1. So have a look, the energy would be what? So this is the squared graph as well of the modulus. So the, it is a rectangular sort of a waveform. So the length, the width is 1 and the width, whatever. The length is 1 and the width is infinity so you get an infinity and for case number three also this is not finite so this is not an energy signal is that okay now if i tell you uh, to time reverse the signal which means if you take the mirror image about the y-axis so it will have the same energy okay if you time reverse this signal, this green is the original signal. This is, let's say, now the time reversed signal. This is time reversed. And this green is the original. So these two will have the same values of energy, okay? This will also be the energy for this signal, which means that time reversal has no effect on the energy of a signal. We'll discuss it in detail in the next video. But for this, uh, you can solve it by your own self as well for all the three cases. But uh, over here, you can see directly that the area under the graph is the same. We have no effect of time reversal on this. Similarly, I need to tell you one other property. Now, if this is, you know, uh, the original means what? This is x1 of t, fine. And similarly, let's say this signal is x2 of t, so which is x1 of negative t, fine. So, how do you calculate the energy of x3 of t? Now, uh, where is the duster? So, if I give you 
Okay, wait, let me remove this. So if I tell you that this is a new signal which is x3 of t. So x3 of t is the total signal, right? So now how do you calculate the energy of x3 of t? Well, if you can see directly that it is as a sum, x3 of t is a sum of the two signals, uh, you can see directly that x3 of t could be written as x1 of t plus x2 of t. So you should also do, if, 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 a, if, a, if a signal is a sum of two or more than two signal, the energy of that signal would be a sum of its constituent parts. Have a look. As over here, x3 of t is the sum of x1 and x2 of t. So the energy of the third signal would equal the sum of energy of 1 plus the energy of 2. So we had already found out the energy of 1 and 2, so which means that the energy of 3 is 1 over 2a plus 1 over 2a, which is equal to 1 over a. Now this is again a finite value, so which means that this is an energy signal. I hope that is clear. So that's all about this video, okay? I have some more examples with that. I'll see you in the next video very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.